Hi, everybody. Just wanted to give some specific help for the slideshow master as you lead your group in getting the slideshow going, but also making sure that your group is on track with understanding how to share and find shared documents like the notes and the slideshow. First of all, if your group was a little bit lost or confused on this part, here's your, your notes. So one of you is going to make a copy of the notes. I said it should be the slideshow master. And after you made that copy, then this was something that you could type in. But you want to share this document with your group if you haven't already done so. You were to click share, type in the names of your group, then hit done. Your people in your group, if they want to find it, I told you before that they could find the email, but that was not working. So here's how you should find it. If you go, if the people in your group go to their drive, then click on shared with me, just like this. If you open up your Google Drive, I have a lot more folders than you. But yours will look like this. On the left, it'll say shared with me. So the people in your group should look in their shared with me folder and they'll find their file that the slideshow master shared with them. So let's say this was it. There would be all these different boxes and everyone should be opening up the file and editing in different sections. So in the end, you have the full document complete with notes on each of the sections. The next step for you as a slideshow master is to create a slideshow. I feel like there's a couple different ways to do it, but but here's one that that you can try. If you create a new presentation, you go file, then new, select presentation. Give it a title at the top, which in my case, the main section was trade and travel, but yours might be art and writing or what they did for us or the end of the Indus. On the right-hand side, you can choose from many different themes. I'm gonna just go with this one. The first one is a title. Down here below, you can add the names of your group. And you're going to click to add a new slide. At the top, you can write the title of the individualized section. So like this, Under trade and travel, there was a section called what did the Indus Valley people trade? So I'm going to type that in there up top. What did the Indus Valley people trade? Down below, I can insert bullet points. Let me show you how. You click the more button, and then you can select bulleted list. And you can go back to your notes, and they wrote, farmers raise crops that could be traded. Now, to save yourself some time, after your group has already typed in and done all the work, you could just simply copy, or highlight first, then copy, which you can go up here and go to Edit, Copy, or you can press Control-C, then go into here, and let's click go to paste, you can go to edit, paste, that's one way to do it. Another way is to press control V. So let's go ahead and I'll press control V. Now this font is very small. You can highlight it, change the size to something that's a little easier to read for everyone in the group. And on the next page, will be pictures that relate to this, what did the Indus Valley people trade? 
And you can get your pictures by going to insert image. And you can go to a Google image search and you can type in all kinds of things here. You can find images. You can also use the BBC website to find images and use ones that are right on that website. So for me, I was in Trade and Travel. And on the right hand side, here's some useful images that fit not with all of these sections, but with some of them. So in this one, we're looking at a certain kind of bracelet. I can click on that photo, right click, select copy image. And remember the way to right click on a Chromebook is to do a two finger click where the two fingers are separated from each other on the, the clicking pad. And then it'll serve as a right click. And then you can select copy image, go back into your slideshow, and paste. And you can add more than one image by resizing, maneuvering around. You can copy and paste some. You could insert them through the image, insert image like I showed you before. And two or three or four pictures that go along with each slide would be good. So then we're once again adding in a new slide that would be the next section from your group. And then you would add another slide that just has spaces for pictures once again. So in the end, I would have had a section for a slide that shows a few notes on checking the weight and then a slide of pictures, then another slide for some notes on what were seals, then some pictures, and so on. So here there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slides of notes, plus seven slides of pictures. So for every little section here, there's going to be a slide of notes and a slide of pictures. If you have any questions at all, email me, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck.